With the beta right around the corner, there's a lot of anticipation around Overwatch, but at the same time, many of you don't really know what it is. So here in this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of Overwatch. Overwatch is a team-based shooter with unique heroes and objective-based gameplay. There's currently 18 characters on the roster, all of which have their own weaponry and abilities that allow them to fill one of four roles. Offense, defense, tank, or support. Now I suspect most of you could figure out what these things mean, but let's just assume you're a bunch of blubbering idiots and take a look at some examples. Offensive characters are the ones who'll be dishing out the damage, like Farah, whose primary weapon is a rocket launcher that deals significant damage in a wide radius. She can concussive blast your ass away from her while using her jump jet to get a bird's eye view of the battlefield. And while she's up there, watch out for the death barrage of rockets destroying anything in their path! You are ready to do some Just damage. what I needed. Defensive characters spend their time in the back lines providing supporting fire, like Widowmaker, who wields the deadly Widow's Kiss, a highly effective long-range sniper rifle. Her grappling hook lets her go places most other heroes can't, and if you do try to follow her, watch out for those pesky venom mines. Oh, and uh, good luck hiding. Thanks to her Infersight ultimate, her and her team can see through walls. <laughs> Tanks are big, burly, and can be found on the front line bashing heads like Reinhardt with his giant rocket hammer. Hammers hurt, hammers with rockets, hurt even more. If you think you could just shoot the silly guy running around with a hammer, think again. His energy shield absorbs absurd amounts of damage, protecting him and his team. And don't get too close or you may be pinned by his charge and knocked down by his earth-shattering slam. You are ready to do some damage. And last but not least, we have the ever-important supports, responsible for keeping your suicidal ass alive. My favorite, Mercy, provides life-saving heals with her staff. She can soar to your aid and even resurrect you if you've strayed too far. Now as mentioned, the hero's abilities and weapons are unique to them, and as such there's no weapon pickups in the game. So if you like bows, you'll be playing Hanzo. Dual wielding shotguns? Say hello to Reaper. Fancy building a turret? Torbjorn's got you covered. There's a wide variety of heroes that support all sorts of different playstyles, with even more to come. Let's get you back out there. Escort the now what are you going to be doing with these heroes you ask? Well, besides shooting people, you'll be competing in one of two game modes spread across several maps. There's payload and point capture. Payload has you moving uh, a payload across the map while defenders attempt to slow your progress. And point capture has you capturing points Really inventive naming, Blizzard. The attackers attempt to capture critical objectives while defenders try to stop them. And that's basically it. It's uh, gonna be a fairly straightforward game, but hopefully the unique heroes, maps, and game modes, along with some solid shooting, is what will keep us playing. Thanks so much for the watch. Until next time, I'll see you later. Teleporter online.